Hey everyone, Coops here from the whole Box and Dice Magic the Gathering Dominaria pre-release pack. Actually, just read that then. This is a pre-release pack now? I swear they used to say pre-release kits. Uh, pre-release kit pack, pack kit. That's what we have for you all today as I struggle to actually open this one up with my fingers. Probably should have used like keys or something. God damn it. Get off. Here we go. Um, Dominar has just has been so good, I think, for the community as a whole. It's re-energized, uh, you know, breathed a whole lot of life back into MTG. You know, oh, there's a Jai's Immolating Inferno there. It's a nice pre-release foil. I love the double um, PR foils in the in the kits here and the packs. Packs. Well, did, just tell me. It's like, has there always been packs? And I've just like always said kits. Like this is like actually doing my head in. Looks like we have a isolated chapel at the back of that one there. It's the only thing I don't like is that you can see the card when it comes out. It's uh, it's kind of a little bit annoying. We've got our our D twenty spin down counter there. We've got our six packs of Dominaria. I think. You know, this will be just such a fun set. You know, if you're playing MTG Arena, they've been doing some stuff with Dominaria recently on there as well. So some sealed events, which is always cool. There's that isolated chapel. Gee, that looks so good. And our other card is, if I can learn to pick it up properly and flip it over. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. All right. So there we go. Like, not the, the greatest legendary creature, but I do really like that you get the two of them. You know, it's especially for Brawl and stuff. It's like easy foil commanders to pick up copies of so I think that aspect is uh is pretty neat but let's crack our Dominaria let's crack our six packs you know the the finance side of things Dominaria has been pretty crazy you know Khan's creeping up to 100 bucks to fairies seeing play in legacy you've got Mox not being the card people thought Mox was going to be so just uh it's just a crazy crazy set you know Goblin Chain Whirler seems to be a very real thing Feral Abomination into the <laughs> the 4 minus 7 7 like stuff like this you know like I, I just I just love this idea 4 minus 7 7 can't untap it unless you're playing a historic spell you can't use other stuff to untap it just seems absolutely nuts and we get a deep freeze at the start of our pack two as you go through this the big turtle a druid a rat colony yes Love the rat colony. <laughs> Got a Baral, uh, sorry, Baral, a um, Cambal. We hate Baral. Sulfur Falls, nice. Um, we've got a Cambal rat colony brawl deck, which is just the most fun. Um, just, yeah, having a, having a good good amount of fun with the, with that one. So, fingers crossed. The, uh, the Just the format just stays pretty healthy and pretty fun. Like, I got rid of Baral 1v1, which made a whole lot of sense because... Bra was just nuts um, as a 1v1 commander. And, oh, nice. Steel Leaf Champion. That's pretty solid. And um, got the Aura Dude as well. And, like, I think that was pretty positive for the for the game, to be honest. You know, I like that I like that they have you know, decided to, you know, keep it still competitive. But, like, just get rid of something that was obviously just way too powerful. Like, the fact you play Brawl and you have the Sensor or the Negate online just, like, afterwards. And you're just, like... Like, pl please, please don't do that. Like, if you get the mocks down, like, that was so annoying. So, it's, look, I, I think it's good, but, oh, man, these, dude, what, are, what are these rares? <laughs> I've got, like, the 4 minus 7, 7. I got triple white, triple green. So, um, oh, elephant. Hopefully, like, maybe the white stuff has, has been pretty solid so far. There's some good black stuff in there as well. The Pegasus, that's nuts. Imbolus's clutches, just a nice damping sphere. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we're getting some good black-white stuff by the look of it, but the green is has been okay. I guess I have the chapel in black-white as well, so that kind of is going to help that for sure. But look, maybe we can, like, strike something. Oop, just get that into focus. Strike something a little bit better here. Okay, some more right black stuff. Even Sentry's not bad. Vangel, Navigator's Compass, that's good for fixing. Precognition Field, probably not going to play that. Okay, and a Swamp. So, um... This is a random pool of stuff. <laughs> this is a this is a very very random pool of stuff. Um, I think like we definitely have a uh, an Abzan deck, but I think it's too greedy going the three colors. Like Steel Leaf is a bomb. We had some good green cards. I don't think the red or the blue is good enough. Um, we probably didn't get enough auras to kind of max out those kind of guys. The triple white's pretty difficult anyway, although it's such a huge anthem effect. I think these are kind of the ones we're considering. If we go black green, maybe the seven seven for the memes. But like we'll go through and kind of just like have a look to see what we have, sort some stuff out, and see if we can like make a see if we can make sense of it all. So I'm gonna hit the fast forward button on this one, speed this up, and kind of see where our where our deck gets to here. And if only card sorting was like this fast in real life, it would just be the most 
enjoyable activity. I don't care who you are. If you say you enjoy sorting out cards, you are a psychopath in my book because it's like a little bit fun at the start. Then there's just like so many piles of them and they're just everywhere and you knock a pile over and then you just want to... Oh, it's, no, it's too frustrating. I can't even talk about it. It makes me... <laughs> fills me with angst. Uh, but I'll quickly get these uh, this sort of for you here. And I think... Like, I think, like, I, I want to be greedy and play an Abzan deck, but I just think they're, I think it won't be out of fit. I think we've got a really solid black-white deck, we've got a little bit of artifact support um, in here, so we'll just clear some of this stuff off. Definitely the blue or red is not going to be playable. Um, I just, look, we'll have a quick look at the white. Um, I think the white definitely stays in. Like, we've got too many valuable things in this deck, like charge is really good. We've got the two drops, what I like. The triple the triple white is really tough, but like we do have two grow from ashes if we play the green. We've got a couple of the druids. Steel leaf is nuts. It's like we have some really good cards. Maybe we could just play white green. But then when I look at our black, I think our black is stronger than our green. Is it? Oh, we just... It's so close. It is so, so close. We've got the evangel... The Skin Witch, Rat Colony, it's just, I guess, in there for a black card. A couple of the Sentinels there. We've got the Flyer. <laughs> We've got Vess. That stupid kicker making million zombies. Um, Blessing of Belzenok. Got a couple of them in there. It's it's pretty tough because I think, like, looking at these cards, like, we've got a lot of, like, one drops and two drops in black as well. But I think... I think you just have to cut the green, right? Because, like, yes, Grow's really solid, right? We've got some good stuff in here, but it's really just Steel Leaf and the Druid. Plus, we have a couple of artifacts that we probably want to fit in the deck as well. I think they maybe fit in, but I think, you know, like, playing three colors is, is just probably a little bit too greedy, even with the Navigator's Compasses, even with the Grow from Ashes. I think if we just cut this, um, oh, and then we just play Black, White, Good Stuff. Right, because, yeah, all right, we'll cut the green. We'll cut the green out. We're going to give this one a go. Let me know in the comments, did you like this deck? What are your thoughts? How are you enjoying the uh, Dominaria Seal? Are you playing drafting with this set? Uh, you've played it on MTG Arena. They've had some events that have been up recently. So uh, let me know in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this one. Subscribe if you are new. All the usual YouTube, social media, good stuff. Thank you so much for watching this one. My name is Coops. This is The Whole Box and Dice. Peace.